Hi guys, it's Maggie from Magnificent Tarot and I'm doing your soulmate reading for October 2018. Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Mercury, Jupiter, and North Node. I am pleased to be doing your reading because I am a Leo Moon and um, already off the bat I can see that you guys been through a tumultuous or very eventful um, situation um, as it pertains to your soulmate journey. Um, leaving September, moving into October, there has been a major change or some type of shift here. Um, as I was shuffling, um, this card popped out, and I like to take note of the cards that fly out or pop out during the shuffling process. And um, this card, Seven of Pentacles Reverse, came out. Um, this is a soulmate love reading, um, but I do see some elements of finances um, and family matters, but the focus here is the soulmate journey, and I do see that there is the energy of making um, or there is a repetitive energy of making the same type of mistakes or being dissatisfied or being disappointed within your relationships. So it's kind of like you're noticing some type of a pattern or you're not noticing rather. Um, I think this is the time to stop blaming other people or blaming your partner for certain situations. And it is the time to take stock of your life. Look back at all your previous relationships. Compare them um, and see where your fault lies, okay? Because I feel like in order for you to make the necessary changes, because there is a shift you're experiencing, and I think you are noticing, but I don't think you're really taking the time to really dissect apart why your relationships fail or why you have so many disappointments. I think this is the time, um, instead of focusing on this rocky patch of, or this, this uh, difficult period, um, I think it's time for you to really Take a different approach. Look to the past here, okay, objectively, okay, and not from the, uh, an emotional space. And, and look at the patterns, okay? Time is cyclical. So if you, can, if you can identify these cycles, then you are able to break them, okay? So you guys, this is a general reading, of course. Um, it may not resonate this time, but I am reading for the whole collective of Leo. So um, I'll try to touch um, on as much information as possible or whatever jumps out at me, whatever energy I'm picking up. This reading could be for one specific person. It could be for a group of people. Um, you know, whatever spirit guides me to, to reveal today is what I will reveal. Okay. Um, and whoever is uh, meant to see this message will. So the bottom of the deck um, is the Nine of Pentacles um, card. And um, what I want to do is I want to start off with an uh, oracle message for you. I'm using the Energy Oracle deck by Sandra Ann Taylor. Okay. Spirit, please give me a beautiful message for our Leo. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Mercury, Jupiter, North Node. Okay. The Thinking Man. Okay. So card 46. 46. The number 46 could be significant um, to some of you guys. Um, I like to pay attention to numbers. So card 46, The Thinking Man. Um, it shows a man standing before an archway gazing at a crystal in his hand. He is thoughtful and re he's a thoughtful and reflective man, representing the potential presence of a teacher in your life now, or about to arrive soon. This person may be there to educate you in the finer details of your chosen direction, or may be there to assist you in some specific spiritual, mental, or emotional pursuits. 
Um, the card is telling you to pay attention um, for this can lead to great strides in personal or professional growth, okay? This man may also be a love interest coming your way or perhaps just a new male friend. But be on the lookout for this guy in the physical world and be open to his information. Learn what you can. A new discipline, technique, course of study, or healing practice could change your life forever. Um, what I notice here is the fact that the Seven of Pentacles is thinking, right? He's thinking. He's looking at these seeds he planted, and he's waiting for his reward here. But he's thinking. He's reflecting. In the reverse, it talks about needing to reflect. So I believe that this card came out because it is time for you to really think. Take time to think. I think a lot of you Leos have been caught in this daze or disillusion or just caught up with all your um, external issues. And you're not focusing on the internal stuff going on within. Okay? Um... This is also being worried about finances. A lot of you Leos may be experiencing some financial difficulty at this time. And I think that there may be a, too much of a focus on that. And you're not allowing yourself the time to connect with your higher self or going within, doing the inner work in order to find solutions to your problems. Okay? So that's your oracle message. And I'm going to pull um, from my... Steven Universe um, Deck of Arcanas to see what the challenges are for our beautiful Leos. Beautiful Leo souls, you guys are you guys are the bright stars or the suns of the zodiac. You always bring positive energy, warmth to a situation. You guys have such a big heart, you're giving. And sometimes that giving can be to your detriment because sometimes you um, you fall into the trap of um, being self-sacrificial. So your lesson or your challenge is the hermit. Wow, that's a nine. So this is talking about individuality. Um, I think some of you guys are afraid of being alone. I think this is why this card is coming out is what I'm picking up. The fear of being by yourself, the fear of abandonment, the fear of rejection. Um, and this is talking about also doing the inner work. It's time to be get on your spiritual path. If you started your spiritual journey or have been, I think that, um, again, your focus is elsewhere, um, especially pertaining to the soulmate um, journey of yours, because it has been tumultuous. It has been tedious. Um, there's been a lot of confusion. And I think with this new moon coming up here, um, this will be... Um, time for clarity so this also talks about enlightenment and clarity and the hermit is the energy of asking questions to receive answers through meditation through the introspection and retrospection and this is about wisdom and it's funny that the thinking man showed up because this is also a man that thinks a lot and he provides wisdom so this does give me an energy that somebody will be coming in your life that will be very wise so pay attention to these new people um, that you are attracting or new people that you're connecting with. And also this calls for you to do some studying um, to learn, gain wisdom, seek wisdom, okay? All right, so we know what your challenge is. The bottom of the deck card we have, again, the nine of pentacles. And this is, again, about individuality. This is about focusing on yourself. Um, I like to look at this card as needing to love yourself, uh, needing to have confidence. So there is an energy of uh, a lack of confidence here for some of you guys. So the overall energy is you just are, or a lot of you guys are really just focusing on your coins, focusing on yourself, bettering yourself, or needing to better yourself, needing to indulge and, and pamper yourself and, and pour love into yourself. Um, some of you guys are doing affirmations. Some of you guys have been really um, focusing on your careers and your um, creative endeavors because that yellow, that solar, okay, because that yellow is your energy, the solar plexus. Um, for me, correlates to the solar energy coming from the sun. So this is that brightness, that warmth, that creative energy, that enthusiasm, and that will power. This is the power center. 
Um, this is going to be highlighting your strengths. A lot of these situations that you're going to be encountering um, in the month of October um, leading into November. Um, Venus goes direct at November 16th. Um, you will be challenged, okay? Your strength is going to be called upon, okay, to face these challenges. Um, but the number one thing for you to understand is that the focus is going to have to be on you. Um, time to take that selfish energy and use it for good um, <laughs> in a good way, and that is to start to be um, more, a little bit more self-serving this month, okay? Not saying be completely selfish and shut people out, but you do want to focus on yourself and make sure that you're, you're not um, harming yourself um, by um, ignoring your needs and wants, okay? You don't want to do that. I will be clarifying with this midweight um, content sentimental, centennial, sentimental, centennial deck today, okay? So let's get started with your reading. This is a modified Celtic cross. I use my nine card layout. Um, so we have the heart of the matter, the present, the past, what you're thinking of, the immediate future, your doubts and fears, um, outside influences, your hopes and dreams, and the final outcome. Um, the corner cards and what's crossing you. We have the three of cups reverse. So the heart of the matter right now, we're starting off with the um, high priestess and reverse card. Um, there is a, a, a big um, focus on morality here. Um, values, morality, also secrets, also um, repressed emotions here when I see the high priestess. This is also letting me know that um, you guys haven't been paying attention to your intuition. And I'm guilty of this, you guys. I'm a um, Leo moon, okay? Um, and I do see Leo moons being presented here as well. Um, you guys haven't been ignoring your intuition. And I feel like um, there was a, a question of morality and personal values. I think these were... Um, issues that you've dealt with um, with this particular um, interaction with this particular soulmate or soulmates okay I have being presented to me um, the energy of secrecy um, and then we have crossing the three of pen the three of cups so there definitely a lot of you guys were participating in some t uh, third party situations there were there may have been some adultery um because i do see the higher fit reverse and then we have it next to the family card ten of cups so there could have been somebody stepping outside of a marriage or a, a committed partnership um and it was with somebody from their past here because we have behind you the six of cups um it looks like during the eclipse season the eclipse experience in july or august uh, there was something that came to light um, that impacted the relationship, causing some type of separation, um, and or um, causing someone um, to have to make some type of a decision. I don't see a clear indication that a decision was made, um, but I feel like whatever happened um, is fueling this energy of being a little bit reckless here. Um, and indulging in devices, um, intuition and is being ignored. Emotions are being pushed down and repressed and um, allowing the carnal nature, the base desires to take over, okay? So with the um, High Priestess card, this is also um, highlighting um, the energy of someone wanting a commitment so you guys may have wanted a commitment with this person that you were dealing with that may have been involved in another situation now you could be the one being deceitful um i'm just gonna spray my spray because this is a little heavy <laughs> um this is the alchemy um energy clearing smudge spray this is um from candleswithpurpose.com okay yeah, so this is a little heavy. So, whoever you're dealing with um, is repressing some deep-seated hurt. They're coping through alcohol, alcohol, 
alcoholism. I wish I could talk today. Um, or just through, again, uh, maybe through other vices, um, maybe through sexual immorality. <laughs> um, not necessarily immorality, but maybe, you know, just... Um, just being a little bit too much of a free spirit or having too much fun. And this is because they um, are struggling. And this could be your energy too, because this is your reading. Struggling with this, with some emotions here. And we have the two pillars here again, highlighting a decision, um, highlighting two people, maybe three, okay? Maybe somebody has three people that they are picking from. There's three women here. Um, my demographic is mostly women, but um, I do have men watching the videos as well. So again, you men cross watchers, you may have a choice between two main people, but you have a committed partner. Okay, so with the moon card, this is also um, these are some heavy emotions that you're dealing with, some heavy depression. Okay. Um, and this has to do with uh, some type of an offer. Um, the Knight of Cups is very romantic. This is you, uh, Leo, feeling like you aren't receiving some type of affection. It's like you desire affection, love. You desire some type of attention or you were expecting an offer or a message of love from someone. Um, but what happened with that message of love? And this could have been from a, a water sign, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. Since we have the cup, High Priestess, Cancer, um, Pisces with the Moon, Cancer, Pisces energy here. Okay, heavy, yeah. See, we have two knights here. Some of you guys had to choose between two men okay a fire sign or a water sign um awaiting some type of action or some type of uh, love offer from someone some type of message um i feel like with the moon card um that didn't work out or if it did it's it, it wasn't what you expected or what you wanted what you hoped for okay because some type of lack of clarity yeah, with the tower, yeah. So there's definitely a tower moment here surrounding a relationship. I flipped over the deck and I got the, the Knight of Swords. Whatever this tower moment was in regards to... Okay, so some of you guys found out that your committed partner um, was dealing with two men. If you're a male or your committed partner was dealing with two women, fire sign or a water sign, and that caused a breakdown in a relationship, putting you into this energy here, the Nine of Swords here. Um, in the past here, we see that there was a reconciliation or there is a focus on the, um, uh, there's some childhood traumas. So this, this is showing me that um, there could have been some type of childhood um, trauma or something that was experienced during the childhood um, that is directly affecting um, the dynamics of the relationship or how you um, are, are in relationships, how you treat your partner or how you value um, relationships. I do see that there is some type of non-traditional um, relationship happening here but then at the same time I do see a traditional relationship so this is why I do feel the um, extramarital energy heavy okay extramarital or stepping out on a committed partner okay and this is stemming from childhood trauma um, I feel an energy of wanting to hold something together that needs to come apart wanting to hold something together not wanting to let something go. Um, let's clarify the Six of Cups energy for you guys. 
broken promises with the Six of Cups. Someone broke a promise. Someone broke a promise. There's some fear of abandonment. Yeah, with the Six of Cups. This is definitely fear of abandonment here. Um, it is causing a lot of depression, a lot of anxiety with that Nine of Swords energy that I presented under the deck, uh, at the bottom of the deck. Um... And this is involving children. This is involving... Um, so this is a, a relationship that has something to do with children here. All right. So... Definitely needing to heal some type of trauma. Somebody is trying to heal a, a relationship that's falling apart with the Tower card. And I feel like there's a resistance to a change in the dynamic of this relationship because somebody is trying to heal or somebody is trying to gain some type of clarity or some truth. Or this could be an energy of you finding out about a past person here or finding out that maybe your partner was with a past person. Or this is you, um, if you are the one, if you are the third party, um, this is somebody that you dealt with in your past okay um what's above you and what you think what you're thinking about is you want this family you want a family you want a family or you want to keep your family together again i, I see desperately trying to keep a family together okay this card was flipped but i didn't see it and again this is truth honesty um clarity Finding out something about your partner caused this in the past, is causing this present tower energy. Because remember, this is past. So this is talking about finding out the truth about somebody, some past relationship. Finding out that your partner has two people, okay? Let's clarify the Ten of Cups here. Now, the Ten of Cups is... Wanting, you know, this is someone that, you know, this is an energy of someone that wants to do things the traditional way. So this is definitely someone that wants a family, wants to be married, wants to have children. Okay. Or this could just be a Gensi. <laughs> <clears throat> wants to be happy. This is involving mar something to have to do with marriage. This could be you, uh, you could be engaged with someone um, or had uh, this illusion or this fantasy that this person that you're in a third party relationship with will marry you, will divorce here with the Hierophant in reverse and marry you. And that's for some Leos, that's for some of you guys, okay, not everybody. Um, but what the future, um, the immediate future is showing me that um, somebody is not putting the effort or the work or there's no growth or expansion when it comes to this relationship. This is also showing me that somebody is experiencing some final financial issues. So this could be, fin uh, you know, um, there could be a, a, a delay due to finances. Maybe somebody um, is tied to their partner due to money and they can't really leave that person right away that's the immediate future clarify the immediate future please yeah hang man see they're hanging up here or hanging on because money or this is because they're afraid <laughs> they're, they're, they're stagnant or they're afraid to, to move on Okay, they're afraid to put effort into something else and end up it in because it's failure in the reverse, so they don't want to fail. They may not feel like they succeed in relationships. Um, so your your fear, your doubts and your fears, energy. Wow, look, wow, wow. Or again, being hurt again. This is definitely some type of karmic or soul time. We have eight being presented, one, two, two times, plus the six of cups. So this is definitely past life karmic related. 
devil energy, five of cups, and then we have the knight of swords here. Clarifying, I was about to clarify the doubt and fears and your, your fear here with the devil energy um, is tied to um, being hurt, being afraid of um, being hurt, um, the unpredictable nature of this relationship, not knowing where you stand, um, not knowing if this person is going to fight for you, okay? And you're just crying over spilled milk. So this person here is trying to, is focused, this love interest is focused on um, fixing this, uh, this relationship that's broken. They're not realizing that you're here trying to offer them something better. And this could be vice versa, okay? Um, the Hierophant is an unconventional relationship. This is somebody that's stepping out. This is, um, you know, infidelity. Uh, also, the Hierophant is somebody really stuck in their ways. You could have been dealing with somebody very arrogant, um, very stuck in their ways, very narrow-minded. Um, with the Hierophant card, clarify the Hierophant a little bit more, please. Clarify the Hierophant. And the doubts is being, you know, you're scared of being stuck in um, a situation where you're not going to be getting that traditional. Um, I mean, you're you're doubting that you will have the traditional um, family structure, husband, wife, where there isn't a third party, where there isn't. Um, um, restrictions or. Your doubt is that you will lose your freedom. You will lose yourself um, in this relationship, okay? Because I look at the hyphen as freedom in the reverse. Um, what's the outside influence? The influence on the other person is the chariot, which is cancer. Um, it's a seven, so again, there's the influences of relationship itself. Um, the partner may be looking at you as moving on. Okay, your love interest may be seeing you as somebody that's moving on. Um, maybe they see you as being combative because this is the guy ready for war. Um, this is also needing, to, you know, um, needing to have confidence. This person may not have the confidence um, needed to leave the situation. But for you, I feel like the outside influences is having an issue with moving on past this, even though this relationship is not serving you. Because the immediate future showed me that you're gonna be stuck, stagnant. There won't be any expansion or growth or movement, okay? And eight is a very karmic number. What's your desires here? You desire for clear communication. You desire for fast action. You want something to happen fast because we saw that the card that flipped while I was shuffling was showing impatience okay it's like you want change fast you want this person to communicate with you and be honest with you let's clarify the eight of wands please clarify the eight of wands and there will be some type of communication this is a lot of cards King of Swords, the Empress. Someone needs to make a decision, but then it is. <laughs> so let me reshuffle. That's a lot of cards. Clarify the eight of wands, please. The final outcome is someone is overwhelmed, stressed, and someone is about to let go of this burden. Um, this is a very burdensome relationship. And I feel like it, there will be an ending of the burden, but I feel like what's going to happen is you're going to communicate to this person that you no longer want to be involved in a third party situation. See? So you're going to communicate that. Either you give me a new beginning, uh, we start over fresh, just me and you, or you're just going to go ahead and move on with your life and, and have your new beginning elsewhere. Okay? because it is a burden to you. Okay, you guys remember the hermit is focusing on your individual self and then the outcome is being clarified again. You want a traditional relationship. You don't want to be a third party anymore.
Okay? So that is your reading, Leo. Thank you for watching. Please